Okay, so update time. Like usual, I recorded an update like a week or ten days ago and then just didn't post it. I think it's just I like to vent. I like, not even vent, I just like to kind of talk to the camera and like I usually don't get to talk about what I'm doing in my daily or weekly activities to anybody you know like if you have your boyfriend or girlfriend you know you give them updates every day about how the day went or whatever you're working on or you have friends you play games with every day and you're like oh hey what are you up to blah 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 but I'm really bad at like how are you or how was your day I'm really bad at answering that so it's just like eh, you know that's like pretty much it I don't talk about myself that much because I don't feel like anyone really cares to listen or I don't want to take like me going to play Apex with Sav and then them being like how was your day and me just going well how about this and you know, going into a whole you know dialogue about what my day was because I don't really feel like anybody actually cares to hear about that they're just being general but you know either way so like I think that's why I like to record into the you know record like a vlog or whatever and not post to half the time because like I got out got out of my system, realized it wasn't that important to post. Um, but this time, definitely important to post because I have something I'm doing. First of all, I updated my PC with a solid state drive. I, I've been running two hard drives off of it and uh it's really slow to load games, but like my PC's been incredibly slow lately, and actually I think it might be my graphics card. I'm not sure. It's barely running games half the time and everything's you know laggy and stuff so I might need to do a hard diagnostics on my graphics card that would be pretty annoying if I had to replace that because I'm getting kind of caught up not caught up but I'm getting into a better position when it comes to bills um the long and short of it is I did a credit transfer with a second credit card so now I don't have absurd um like payments that I have to make and absurd um interest payments i've been paying like over a hundred over a hundred dollars in interest and it's gotten ridiculous so i have two credit cards now and i did a credit transfer and i'm getting myself i'm getting my finances a little bit more under control um i don't think i talked about this last time but excuse me i did start working two shifts at i got since i'm talking i got like bubbly burps in my throat i did start working two shifts at the old job at the old restaurant and uh, picking up Thursdays and Saturdays over there just to help them out. And that's cool because that's money right in my pocket. Um, that will be going on for a couple months, like two months maybe. Who knows? But the main thing I want to talk about uh, is I'm actually – I know people – this is a writing update. Um, I've put Devil to the Damned on pause right now. I'm on Chapter 3, but Chapter 3 basically needs to be rewritten, or at least the first half of it needs to be rewritten. Um, nothing too crazy. I just don't like how the events um, kind of played out, and I have a better idea of how I like it to go. Um, and that's I've been kind of putting off. It took a couple of days break and then didn't start writing that because I didn't want to write a whole new chapter. I just got done writing the book. You know, I just wanted to do the simple insert edits that I've been looking forward to. But, you know, I have to stop and basically rewrite half a chapter for chapter three. And that's just like, I'm, so I've been procrastinating that. However, um, I kind of had a big, like a, I wouldn't want to call it an epiphany. It's kind of a overstatement, but. I've been stirring the idea for like for years now of I've o I'm always asking the question, hey, do you think I should split book one into two books? And then here's how I would do it and blah blah blah. People are always like, I mean, I think it's better as it is. I know it's kinda long and it's really jam packed, but it is the first in the series, so it's gotta have most of the information and yada yada. So it's like I've always been okay fine but there are things about it that bother me and if i went to go split into two sorry don't open the door if i went to go split into two then i could address some of those things that bother me in the editing and chopping process but i decided you know back and forth never to do it um however there have always been things about book one that bother me mainly the first 12 or so chapters before things really kick off it's always the same complaint of well, it's slow and, you know, not a whole lot of crazy plot stuff. Like, the plot stuff does happen, but the, the main complaint is always like, oh, you know, the first 10, 12 chapters are slow. But once it gets after that, you know, it really kicks off. And that's always been the main quote-unquote complaint that I've gotten. 
So I've always been thinking like, man, if I was to rewrite the beginning, how would I do that? How would I fix it? How would I keep the canon? But I've never committed to the idea of actually like going in deep diving into the first 10 chapters. I've always kind of cleaned it up, you know, just kind of check the grammar, check some paragraphs, make sure it wasn't too long. And I've shortened the first third of the book by like 30 pages. I really have. I've cut it down. Um, even though it doesn't seem like it, because it used to be really <laughs> overindulgent in some parts. But I've always got that complaint, and I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to try it, and if it seems to work, I'm going to keep going. So I went into the first chapter, and I completely redid the introdu introduction uh, for the antagonist scene, the bully scene. I completely gutted it, and I redid it, how I think it would work a lot better. And... <laughs> Then I went into chapter two, and it was like the first chapter was always super long. The first chapter was like 20, 23 pages, something like that. Huge, long chapter. It covers so much ground, and that is a big turnoff. So I took the second half of chapter one, and I cut it, and I started a chapter two with that part, rewrote some of that, cleaned it up, made it much more streamlined and straightforward, and then I took the first part of chapter three, cut that and I put it into the new oh sorry that would be chapter two I took the first part of the old chapter two cut that put it into the end of the new chapter two and made the old chapter two chapter three so now between chapter one and two there's a new chapter that's the new two and now two is three if that makes sense it does don't worry um and all that really does is just kind of smoothen out the um the transitions and there's less per chapter while covering the same ground essentially and it's it i think i feel like it flows a lot better um also with how i uh, um, redid the antagonism scene and i also redid some of the dialogues um some of the descriptions and then um the like the progression of the day you know, I redid a lot of that, and now I'm on chapter, I think, four, and I'm redoing a different scene. Um, there were things about the beginning that always bothered me. Like, for a bunch of the school scenes, I just kind of fast-forward time by having Kim fall asleep in class or something, where it's like, that's not her. You know, she was a pretty diligent student because of her dad always pressuring her to do well and stuff like that, so we didn't have to deal with it. So she always felt the need to perform to get his attention, to impress him, blah, blah, blah. So her falling asleep in class is thematically appropriate because of how things are changing around her, but also inconsistent to her character of who I'm establishing her to be. So, I'm taking one of her falling asleep in the middle of class, and I'm making it a deliberate, can I stay after class to sleep because I have a really bad headache kind of thing, changing that into some other thing, and then working it into another thing, so, without obviously giving away too much stuff. Um, I also did remove a different falling asleep scene, so there's less of that, and... Then I'm going to be transitioning to the next bullying scene, just continuing to set that the pace of relentless aggression towards her and really establish that she is troubled and that she does have the motivation to want the namesake of the book, which is vengeance, you know, really keep that pressure on. And um, so I'm about to, tomorrow morning, I'm going to keep writing the next bully scene, which changes a little bit and changes some things and it, and it fixes a quick interaction with a mysterious character that she meets in school and then yeah from there i think there's also another scene where she um does this whole showing tansu around school thing after they meet and i think i'm gonna cut that out and do something different with it because it just kind of drags and it's ultimately kind of pointless um i think i was doing that originally was trying to show out the layout of the school but that didn't that doesn't really matter so I think I'm going to give them something different to do during that. Maybe give, give them a study hall together to talk or something. But either way, yeah. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really going in the first like 11 to 12 chapters and I'm just updating it. Because it's, those chapters uh, sequentially and storytelling wise are like 10 years old. It's basically the same beat for beat plot introductions and descriptions not obviously i rewrote some of the stuff i cleaned it up but like you know the plot points and the progression of events and scenes are all pretty much the same from when i first wrote it and that has always bothered me but i've never felt it appropriate to go back and actually change it because it changes so much and this pretty much nullifies the entire audiobook by the way that's 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 a relic basically i'm going to take that down essentially because it doesn't line up 
but uh, or I could always keep it up as original version or something like that or you know 2019 version or something like that but I don't want people to get the wrong canon um because that's the hardest part is making sure I stick to canon with what I have established in book two and Devil to the Damned and all the other stuff so but yeah that's what I'm doing so Devil to the Damned that thing right there that notebook is on hold for the moment it should only take me a couple days realistically uh, it should only take me within this week i think i can work on it almost every single day in the morning and i'm working on it at night since I, I finished the apex battle pass so i don't have to play apex and grind that out that's like a month off of apex so i'll be working on this at night and if i'm not working on this i'm going to try streaming by the way i'm going to start streaming on youtube instead of twitch i think i'll go back and forth i'm going to try to make youtube the priority um just because Twitch is becoming worse and worse every day. The only thing that's kept me there is the fact that I am monetized on Twitch. But, you know, nobody's really hanging out on Twitch, like, at all anymore. So, what's the point? I'm going to go on YouTube. I just heard BB. There he is. I thought I heard him moving around. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, that's... Today is... It's 1 a.m. October 4th. Oh, it's Sam's birthday. I got to text her happy birthday. Look at that. Um, actually, I don't even have her birthday on the calendar for this year. Well, anyway, that's actually a whole other thing. Sam and I actually had a conversation a few weeks ago, like a month ago maybe. Um, out of the blue, we just had a phone call, and it was nice. It felt good. It felt... Uh, as close to closure as I could ask for years later because uh, my self-esteem is still destroyed from all that <laughs> and my perception of people and myself is still being repaired but that's that's what happens when you just isolate after something like that you don't really get a chance to grow but anyway um, I will consider any current version of book one uh on print to be loose canon it will still be the events are still basically canon because all the main plot points do happen but it's only some interactions that have been updated and changed but the result is still the same she still gets bullied at the beginning by stacy um except joey does not intervene i did change that joey doesn't intervene and she talks with him later about what happened um just to kind of show how she handles stuff by herself you know what i mean um make it make her feel really disconnected and alone um yeah so that's the main thing i i really really want to finish editing devil to the damned that does push that back by a couple weeks but that's okay this is worth it because overall whenever i i know i'm rambling i'm sorry if you're still here comment boobies down below leave a like just let me know you actually listen for 13 minutes but the thing is like since book one book one isn't my favorite book it's very close but i think book two is my favorite just because you know it's you already go into it knowing everything you don't have to deal with the schlock of getting taught all the lore and the history and the characters you can just go into it knowing what's happening and deal with everything i, I don't know maybe book one's my favorite it's hard i think what's always kept book one as not being my favorite is the beginning stuff because it's just very mundane middle school girl getting bullied and having a bad parent and just kind of being alone and it's it's sad it's depressing and it's slow at times and it doesn't culminate until you get 10 or 12 chapters in even 15 chapters in and then it really kicks off and it feels good and I think that's what always held up back from being my favorite. But it sucks because since book one is where you start with the series, and it's a fucking big book. I mean, you have this is book two. Uh, this is an anthology. This is Impurity and um, Hebloma, so two books. And then you have book one. Look how fucking big book one is. I mean, book one is huge. Look at that, right down here. I mean, it's not that much bigger. But it, it's like 100 pages more. It's huge. It's dense. It has a lot. And I know that it's not as good as it could be. And that's what's been bothering me. Is I know when I say, hey, you guys want to you should go check out my book. I know they're going to have to get through that first 140 pages. And by get through, I obviously mean just like, you know, they have to get invested enough. And that's not always easy. Because it's daunting to look at a near 500 page novel and think, let's do it, you know, for something new. And then to have it be that slow. So I'm really trying to kick up the pace of book one 
with everything that I've learned, updated writing style, and just all that good stuff. So give me give me a week. Give me a week and I'll be able to do it. I'll be able to get this ready, done. I'll do a hard editing pass and then it'll be back up. And then I'll keep working on Devils of the Damned. So this video is going live, I promise. Thank you guys for listening. Bye-bye.